Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at leptons and neutrinos, so let's get into it. Now we're still looking at fundamental particles, i.e. the matter particles here, and our next type is leptons and neutrinos. So it says here that as mentioned previously, there are six types of lepton, the electron, muon and tau, each with an associated neutrino. So we have the electron neutrino, muon neutrino and tau neutrino, and these all have their own symbols, and it says these all have their own antiparticles. It then goes on to say that neutrinos were first discovered in radioactive beta decay experiments. And I'm going to take you through the story here of how neutrinos were discovered. So in 1931, it says the physicist Wolfgang Pauli studied the beta decay of a nucleus when a neutron decays to give a proton and a beta particle, i.e. an electron. That is, we have a neutron N converting into a proton P plus an electron. And I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise this. So here we can visualise the beta decay. So we start with a nucleus, which is made up of protons and neutrons bound together. And if I click play here, you see that a little red electron is fired out of the nucleus. And if I play it again, you see that this blue neutron at the front changes into a green proton. Because remember we're saying one of the neutrons changes into a proton, plus the electron that's fired off. So have a look at this blue neutron here, it changes into a green proton, and we get this little fast moving electron being fired off, i.e. our beta particle. And going back to the notes, it says that mass and charge were found to be conserved in this reaction. So that tells us that the mass and charge before and after the reaction there were the same. So no mass and no charge was lost. And there's just a wee picture showing you the electron being fired out of the nucleus. It then says, however, it was found that momentum and energy were not conserved in the reaction. So that tells us that momentum and energy were not the same before and after the reaction, i.e. before and after the electron was fired off and the neutron changed into a proton. So mass and charge were conserved, but momentum and energy were not conserved. And this observation suggested that there must be an additional particle emitted of zero charge and essentially zero mass. Pauli predicted the existence of this hypothetical particle, which was later named a neutrino. So Pauli suggested that not only was an electron emitted from the nucleus, but also a very small particle called a neutrino of zero charge and essentially zero mass. And note that it is actually an anti-neutrino that is emitted during a beta decay. So we could now say that the reaction looks like this. So we have the neutron converting into a proton, plus the electron, plus the electron anti-neutrino. And a fun fact is that neutrino is Italian for little neutral one, because we're saying a neutrino has zero charge, so therefore it's neutral. Now I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise this. So if we look back at our simulation here, if I click play, you see we now have two particles being emitted. So we still have the electron, which is moving off in this direction, and that's shown by the red arrow. And then we have the direction of the neutrino, shown by this purple arrow. So I'll just play that again. So we've got two particles being emitted this time instead of just the electron. And you can see we also have an arrow showing the nucleus moving this way by a small amount. And that's telling us it's the direction of nuclear recoil. So because the nucleus is emitting particles in this direction to the left, it's going to recoil and move back the way a bit to the right. And that means that momentum and energy are conserved this time. And lastly, looking back at the notes, it's worth you remembering this little story of how neutrons are discovered. So it's important you remember the nuclear reactions here. So we have the neutron going into the proton plus electron. But then we said in the end, Pauli suggested this one down here, which was the neutron converting into a proton plus the electron plus the electron anti-neutrino. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.